the next thing I want to do to make this image look a little more realistic is play with the layer styles. Now layer styles in Photoshop are little adjustments that you can make to the layer as a whole. You can see on my construction paper how because it's not exactly laying flat on the page, I get little shadows behind each of my elements. To recreate this in Photoshop, all I have to do is double click on the layer next to the layer name to access my layer styles. Now take a look at the rainbow and how it changes as I go through all of these options. So we can bevel and emboss this layer. It makes it look like it's 3D. I'll uncheck that. We can add a stroke or just add an outline to the layer. I could add a shadow. I could add an inner glow. And all of these are adjustable. I could add some overlays, add a gradient on top of it. I can change everything about this layer if I wanted to. I can add an outer glow or I could add a drop shadow and that's what we're gonna look at now. To make a drop shadow, make sure I have it selected and checked on. I can adjust the color of the shadow, the opacity or how visible it is, and then where it is, where the presumed light source would be. So I'll bring the opacity up just so I can see it really clearly and now I'll play with this. If I change the angle of the lighting, you can see how it makes it look like the light source is in different places. So I'll bring it to about right there, bring the distance in, and bring the size in a lot. And now I'll bring the opacity back down. So it's just a little nice little touch. And you can see it. So if I click OK, I can accept those changes. If I zoom in on my picture, you can see that it looks like it has a shadow, but it's nothing crazy. If I wanna apply this same layer style to my other layers, all I have to do is where it says effects right here, right click, copy layer style, and then paste it on my other layers. Paste layer style. Now you can see it's changed that. Paste layer style. Now you can see I have a little shadow on my cloud. I can turn it on and off if I want to so you can see the difference. And now on my little cloud, paste layer style. My big tree, paste layer style. Just kind of adds another element. And now I can add it here to this group as a whole. And it will, to the group of the small tree, add that same shadow. So there, that's our finished image. We don't exactly have a masterpiece in front of us, but hopefully this has been a good explanation of the different things we can do with layers in Photoshop. So before you move on, I really want you to be comfortable using layers. So play around with this a little bit. You can change the size of some layers if you want. You know, just adjust it however you want. Maybe I wanna bring that small cloud below the rainbow. Do a couple of things to make sure you're really comfortable with how layers work before we move on. Now in the next few videos, we're gonna learn all about blend modes.